morning, Turtle Nerd. So this morning we are off, well, first I have a dentist appointment and a few errands to run, but in today's video, we're gonna be going and getting some supplies for our little baby turtle hatchlings. So I'm gonna be showing you how basically I'm gonna be making a setup for them when they are finally free swimming. They're out of the egg, but they still have their egg teeth. Their yolk sacs are all healed up. And I'm gonna be basically showing you how I make an enclosure that they're gonna be in until they're eating and ready for new homes. Okay, so stop number one, I'm at the dentist because I have a cavity. I pride myself on my dental hygiene ever since I got my braces off. I don't know how this happened. I'm not happy about it, but at least we'll get to see baby turtles by the end of the day. The holy land. Now, as I'm rolling up this Home Depot, we're at a red light. Uh, you could probably hear it in my voice. Half my face is numb. This, I can't feel anything over here, but we have stuff to do regardless. I sound so stupid. Um, we have things to do regardless. So I'm going to get a small concrete mixing tub and then I have to go pick up my cousin, actually. We're going to meet halfway. So I'm driving like to North Carolina today. We're gonna grab our tub. We're gonna head to the middle of nowhere, South Carolina, pick up an orange headed carrot top boy. And I gotta go cause we're driving now, bye. This might as well be the turtle aisle. Got play sand that you can use for your turtles. Oh my God, they're out of them? Are you kidding me? They're out of the mixing tubs. Are you serious? I came here for nothing. No. So half my face is numb and I came all the way to Home Depot and they don't have them. They don't even have them in the storage. I sound like a moron. I'm gonna leave until I can speak normally. Go pick up my cousin and then we're gonna go to a different Home Depot. I sound so dumb. <laughs> ah! I can't make this up. This thing has been taking up traffic for the past like 10 minutes. Today is off to a rough start, folks. I just, uh ran out and saved the turtle from uh, the middle of the road here. But uh, I gotta merge back on the highway. It's kind of a not good situation here. I watch trucks fly over it. I'm telling people slow down. No one did, nobody cares. Bunch of morons, ton of turtles right in here. This little waterway system, I gotta go cause I gotta merge back on later. Okay, so my face is less numb. I've acquired this orange man and he brought Chick-fil-A and now we're going to the Home Depot. There's one like four minutes from here. Hopefully they have what I need. Otherwise I'm leaving and then dying. As it turns out, there was a Home Depot right across the street. Yee. Is this, is this some kind of sick joke? Is this, am I, am I being pranked? Who keeps buying all of the tops? Stop it, I need one. This is the second Home Depot an hour and 45 minutes away from the other one. Maybe we'll try Lowe's. <laughs> hey, hey bro, hey bro, chill. Hey bro, chill bro. Hi, uh, I'm so, can I hey, help buddy. you? Can I help, can I help you? Are you okay? Okay. Oh, okay, right. be, be, be careful, be safe. Bye. I, lo I love, love you. you. I love you. Bye. I guess you could say that that is the goat. <laughs> I'm funny. Okay, so I'm home without a mixing tub like I wanted. Uh, my mother's going, I think, way far up to go shopping anyway, so she might go pick them up for me because she's an angel. And until then, let's check out the pond. I need to get, there's dragon fruit coming from in the stream because she was looking for food. Look. There she is. So I need to take a hose and get this thing filling up and get this topped off because as you can see, it is freaking, it is like empty. Like, I don't know if you guys understand just how, okay, there she goes. Just how empty this thing is, but uh, it has been absolutely insanely blistering hot. Okay, and now let's just kind of take this and toss it right over here. And now let that bad boy fill up for the next like 20 minutes. So let's pray that it rains this weekend. And until then, I need to top this off. It is really low. It's the point where the skimmer, I think, is going to be sucking air soon. Our lovely box and spotted turtle are doing well in here, of course. I expect nothing less from my kiddos. A little jelly to spotted turtle. Otis is hidden, of course. I'm going to eat a little bit of lunch really quickly. And then hopefully we can check on the babies. Louie, come on. Let's go inside. Come on, baby. Let's go inside. Good boy. It's not even that full and it's been filling for like 30 minutes. There we go. Everything is nice and topped off now. Here we go. This is what it's supposed to look like. Now compare it to before, you can see there's a little bit of a big difference. So maybe we'll we'll toss these guys a little bit of food for right now just to keep them all satisfied and content. All right, kids. Look at Bean. She's going nutty. 
I need to, it's been three weeks since she allegedly hopefully laid her eggs. So I need to check and palpate her because usually every three weeks is when they will double clutch. So if I'm lucky, maybe she'll have some more babies ready for me within the next couple of days. And now it's just feeding time for everyone. All the koi are happy and all the turtles are munching. It is literally, literally 90 degrees out. So I'm not spending any more time out here than I need to. I think maybe we're gonna go make some preparations for getting the babies into their enclosures. Maybe take a look at the other two that we didn't get to see yesterday and just check up on them and see how they're doing. Maybe, maybe we'll feed everyone today inside. Okay folks, so what we're pretty much gonna do is because I fed them heavily yesterday where I let them eat to satiation, pretty much all of the turtles that I have in this room, except for butternut who will get fat to eat easily if I feed them too much. So instead what we're gonna do is the beauty of feeding outside of the enclosure is that on days like today where I'm just a little bit too busy or a little bit lazy, rather than just not feeding them, what we can actually do is grab some of the food, bring it to the little turtles, and we could just sprinkle a little bit in. Just enough to sort of satiate them, but not so much to where it's gonna make a total stinking mess. Of course, our favorite little terrapin pumpkin has gone ahead and knocked over the basking platform again. So, uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that little monster. Well, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give him some food. So we're rewarding his bad behavior. So just like that, just a little bit for a little pumpkin. He's still kind of small. He still does not eat much. These pellets are really packed full of nutrients. So here's all the terrapins munching away. And you guys know the drill by now. The final critters to feed, which I normally feed first, are our little baby spotted turtles butter and peanut who I keep calling butter and peanut rather than peanut and butter look at the two of them they are really looking good really really looking good on these two so we're gonna use that technique that has been passed down in my family for generations there we go two nice fine little granules and now we will feed them here you go babies eat. I have a feeling that I'm actually crushing it a little bit too much and that maybe I should keep it in sort of a little bit of bigger pieces for them. Butter, why don't you just look down? Look down, the food's right in front of you, buddy. Fine, we'll toss you some whole pellets too. Maybe do one more after that. And there's a little reptomin stick that got in there as well. So what those pellets will do is just soften up in the water and then it'll make it easy for them to pull apart and rip apart and be able to eat. So this is where we're gonna be putting that little tub. I'm thinking maybe we'll move butternut to a larger enclosure. Here's, here's maybe what I'll do. I'm thinking about maybe taking butternut and moving him up into a larger enclosure up here and then using this tub and keeping it right here for the baby terrapins. I think actually that might be what we do because it might be time for this little cutie to get a bigger setup. And remember yesterday's comment about the beauties of friggin' capitalism and stuff. Well, we've got our box here that I'm trying to open one-handed. Let us just... It makes no sense. They use a box this big for like this stuff and it's just kind of like thrown in. All right, well, whatever. We've got our one day shipping heaters. Here's one of the 100 watts. Here's another one of the 100 watt heaters. These are Eheim Jaegers, which I actually trust a lot. I think that these are one of the better heaters on the market. Cool, so now while I wait for my Madre to get home from shopping and picking up my tubs, God bless her soul, I'm gonna begin editing this video. Turtle nerds, you know what? It's getting late. I am like exhausted from the day. I still have to go to the gym. So the terrapins in the incubator, well, I'll show you. They really, they really don't mind being in here for another night, like at all. Because these guys, when I put them in their enclosure, like all they're gonna do is hide and wanna be secure and wanna be in a dark, moist, humid, but warm space anyway. So I think we're gonna give these guys one more night and then get all of our supplies and get everything set up for tomorrow. That way we have everything ready to roll tomorrow. Rather than me trying to rush everything and get it done now, I think that we're gonna leave them in here for another night. This is not at all what I was expecting to do, but it's super late and I don't want to half do it. Let's look at the little cuties. They still have their egg tooths. Teeth. Teeth. Good lord. So they still got their egg teeth, so more than likely that they're not really going to eat still, and it'll take a couple more days before they get hungry, which is probably when it's important to move them into their own enclosure. So that's pretty much going to do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned something, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. <laughs>